be talking about some news that broke literally this morning. This morning, we weren't going to talk about this before today, and here we are. Manchester City being charged with breaking financial rules by the Premier League. Ashley, do you want to talk us through what's actually going on? These are the details. It is, has been alleged by the Premier League themselves. It's not just a rumour. The Premier League have actually come out and stated this, that Man City have potentially broken financial rules over a period of nine seasons. The last, Not the last nine seasons, but nine seasons spread over from, I think, around 2010. They basically, they haven't provided accurate information regarding their revenue, which mm-hmm. also includes sponsorship revenue mm-hmm. as well. These are the exact breaches. The Premier League of Ledge City didn't comply with UEFA's financial fair play in 13-14, 14-15 and 17-18. And they've also breached Premier League rules on profit and sustainability in 15-16, 16-17 and 17-18. City have also not cooperated with the Premier League in this investigation from the last four years. So the Premier League have gone to and said, look, we need to look into a few things. And City haven't been too fast in their responses by the looks of things. Now, there's, there's huge questions raised at the moment. I think everyone's looking at what's just happened with Juventus and how they've done a few dodgy things yeah. with their finances mm-hmm. and they've been docked, what, 15 points, was it, yeah. in the end in, in Syria? Let's just look at the table. If they, if they get do- docked 15, I just need to see this. Let's just he, keep, he keep going. Keep going. And obviously, the, the first question you think of is, well, are City going to be docked points and are Arsenal about to be handed the title? It's a potential one. It's a potential one when you look at what's happened to Juventus. I think Serie A are a lot more strict and a lot more, you know, they have the balls to do that because City have been breaking these rules for a long time now and they've just been given small fines that mean nothing to them realistically. However, if City do get dot points and Arsenal win the title, is there that asterisk? Just like there is on Liverpool. There would be. I don't think think there there should be. The the fact that we're clear, if we were second right now, absolutely. Because yeah. if we wouldn't, no, if no we way. wouldn't win the league without it, yeah. But the fact that we're actually clear at the moment. Here, here's the thing: if let's say let's say it happens right now, they get drop points, and then mathematically they win the games, they get the results that would mean they probably would win the title mm. yeah. with you both. Then, then, the, then yeah, well, yeah, obviously it's going to have the you know, next to it. However, <laughs> we can't you're not completely it. clear. If if you could choose no. right now, here's what I'd choose right now. I would rather. Hmm, it's a big statement. I'm going to say it though. Yeah, go. Don't you dare say it. I'm going to. Okay. And you're going, to, you're going to be pissed off with me. I would rather Arsenal not win the Premier League than win the Premier League and that happen. Whereas Man City get the points taken away from them and they would have won the league if they hadn't had the points taken away from them. Because the achievement in this season is holding off Man okay. City from winning the Premier League title. Okay. That's what this is all about right now. That staying ahead of them, proving that we're better. We don't need rules, okay? We want to win a proper Premier League. We don't want this. I, I just don't want it. You do know the Premier League isn't about who you chase. It's about it's not the Premier League isn't about teams chasing you. It's about you chasing the trophy. That's it about. It's about the trophy, lifting the trophy. You know, have you experienced Arsenal winning the Premier League? No, you haven't. We haven't experienced it. And you are willing to disregard it because a little asterisk. Or because Liverpool and Chelsea fans will go, it doesn't count. Who cares? I don't care. If Tottenham fans will forever go, oh, no, 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 it doesn't count. I'm like, it counts in my head. I've seen my team lift it. You haven't. I want to celebrate it. Do you know what? That's all I want. I would lose a kidney for the Premier League. I would pro- I would, the things I would do for the Champions League, I, I don't think are available to be listed online. Like, I would do unbelievable things to see my team lift the title. So the fact that they're getting docs points, sure, it's bad, sure, oh, oh, it doesn't really, oh, it's not a properly title. I don't care. If I see Martin Odegaard lift that, lift that trophy in the summer, I will absolutely love my life and I, will, don't, I don't care who, what anyone says about it. I don't care. If we lift that, good. That's all I want. If I see in check, like, all I want this summer is Odegaard to lift it and then maybe Rob Holding afterwards. You know, that's all I want. That's all I want. I don't care how we get it. That's all. What the fuck's that, wrong with that you? Is, there's a lot of things that could happen with Man City. Points deduction is one. Another one that's been suggest- suggested is they are pretty much stripped of every title that they've won. <laughs> Which would mean what, Isaac? Because you've calculated it. It would mean they would have, first of all, never won the Premier League. Because it starts from 2009-10, and obviously their first title was um, 11-12. So the Aguero moment, the most iconic Premier League moment of all time, 
would mean nothing. Um, 2012 would have gone to Man United. You mm. would have had 21 league titles. 2013-14, yeah. the Gerrard slip means nothing. Liverpool win the league. Um, and then it's 17-18, Centurions. Oh, look, no longer a big achievement because it was, uh, well, a financial fair play. And United would have won the league under Mourinho. And then 2018-19, Liverpool would have won the Champions League Premier League double in 2019. And then 2021, Liverpool would win the league. So Liverpool would have three Premier Leagues under their belt. You would have 22 mm. Premier Leagues overall now. And yeah, unfortunately, Arsenal only finished second in this entire period. And it was the season less to one league. So we would actually get nothing. <laughs> but that is another suggestion. I don't think it's going to happen. The other suggestion is what I am praying for, but it's not going to happen. A transfer ban. I don't think they can. I don't think the Premier League can enforce transfer bans. Yeah, I think that's the issue. they can. Inf- they can only enforce punishments based on league, like points deductions and um, and relegation. relegation. That's the only things they can do. Like UEFA can't enforce relegation. It's up to the domestic league to do it. The only thing UEFA, UEFA, all they can do is fine and transfer ban and ban you from Europe. That's all they can do. So. It'd be interesting it, to see. see if you wait for follow, if you wait for follow up from this, because you wait for might follow up from this and might yeah. go, okay, you've because the a pr- hundred. It's a hundred breaches. The thing is, there's no way they can claim legal. Like I know they've got all the money in the world. They can pay for all the, you know, ju- uh, lawyers in the world. But there's no way they can say we are not guilty on a hundred counts. Man City right now are in a boardroom right this minute, you know, debating what they do, what their, what their next step is. And their next step is not not guilty. Their next step is, okay, how do we reduce the sentence? How do we reduce the punishment? Mm-hmm. They are looking at their worst case scenario. And their worst case scenario, potentially relegation, won't happen. That won't happen. They won't get relegated. They will, I think they will definitely get a point reduction. Big up the investigation, though. Because yeah. it seems like, because we've had, there's been other little announcements of these over the last few years, you know, Man City getting fined and things like that. And it feels like they've waited and... All these other announcements have been like little leaks from that report that have come yeah. out, and they've tried to hold it all together to then at this point just go, here you go. We I mean, got literally everything on you. I mean, I like it because I, I thought UEFA for years have been really just pathetic with financial fair play because you brought in this thing the, to think, regulate football. And I remember when they investigated City in 2019, I think, and everyone was like, they might be banned from the Champions League next season. I was like, oh, that means we get top four. We get uh, Champions League, brilliant, because it was Emery's first season. I was like, great. And then they just got like a slap on the wrist fine. I'm like, so a team which has broken financial fair play, meaning they have a lot of money, has been fined, does nothing. Um, I don't think UEFA have done this in this I, I know, UEFA haven't, no, which is why I'm pleased. Because UEFA, I think, have been pathetic. So for the Premier League to stand in and go, do you know what? It's like Thanos, fine, I'll do it myself. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. And it's, it's great because we've been complaining about Chelsea recently. You know, yeah, it'd be interesting. If, I, if I'm told by right now, oh, yeah, I'm crapping my pants because I'm thinking, God, in two years' time, <laughs> the Mudrick money may be on, <laughs> down the drain, you know? Yeah, uh, we, we could be. Well, it's still breaking what's going on. We don't actually know. There, there's there's going to be happening. more developments. I mean, we, we, we're yet to see. I don't know if there's been a Man City statement. They, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, they're probably going to release one. But if they don't release one by the end of the day, it'd be a shock. Yeah, so um, expect more to come from this. I'm sure we'll probably end up touching it, touching on it again at some point. Uh, but yeah, Man City, you better watch out. <laughs>